Hey guys, want to root your Android phone but don't have a computer or TWRP recovery? Don't worry. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to root any Android phone without PC or without TWRP recovery using just another Android phone. This magisk root method works great for Android 15, Android 16 and even recent older versions. This process is completely PC free. All you need is your main phone, a second Android phone, an internet connection and a little bit of patience. Before we start, here's a quick disclaimer. This process will erase everything on your phone. So make sure to back up all your important data. Also, routing may void your warranty and one wrong step could brick your phone or cause a boot loop. So watch this full video first before trying and follow each step carefully. And if you're using a Samsung phone, this method won't work. Check out my other video made specifically for Samsung devices. All right, now let's dive right in and root like a pro. For this tutorial, I'll be using my Pixel 6a running on Android 16. But don't worry, this method works on almost every Android phone. The only part that may be slightly different is unlocking the bootloader, since each brand has its own way of doing it. As you can see, if I open the Magisk app right now, it shows that Magisk is not installed on my device. So let's start with the very first step, unlocking the bootloader. To do this, we need to enable developer options. Open your phone's settings and then about phone. Here, look for the build number and tap on it seven times until you see the message, you are now a developer. Once done, go back and open system setting. Inside system, you'll find developer options. Open it and here look for OEM unlocking. Turn this option on. It may ask for your PIN or password. Just confirm it. It allows our devices to be unlocked. After enabling OEM unlocking, scroll down a bit further and turn on USB debugging. This will allow your phone to be accessed through another Android device using ADB and fastboot commands. With both options enabled, we are ready for the next step. Step 2 is downloading the official firmware for your phone. The easiest way is to open Google and search for your device model, followed by the word firmware. You can also search using your exact build number along with the device model. There are plenty of websites where you can download firmware files for different phones. Since I'm using a Pixel device, it's even simpler. Google provides official factory images directly on their website. So I'll go ahead and download the firmware for my Pixel 6a that matches the Android 16 build currently on my phone. Make sure you download the correct firmware that matches your exact build number. This is very important. If you download the wrong one and try to use it, you can easily brick your device and it may not turn on again. So double check the build number before proceeding. Once you've downloaded the firmware, the next step is to extract it. So let me quickly extract my firmware file. Alright, once the firmware is extracted, open the folder and look for a file called boot.img. On some devices, you might see initboot.img instead. If that's the case, you'll need to use the initboot.img file. Since I have boot.img, I'll copy it and move it outside of the folder for easier access. Now let's move on to the next step, creating the Magis patched file to root your Android device. First, you need to download and install the Magisk app on your phone. Once installed, open the Magisk app. Tap on install, then choose the option, select and patch a file. Now browse and select the boot image you just copied to your device. Once selected, simply tap on let's go to start the patching process. Alright, the Magis patched file is now saved in the downloads folder. Let's quickly confirm that in file manager. And yes, here it is, our patched boot image. Now the next step is to share this file to your second Android phone. I'll quickly transfer it over. Once that's done, it's time for step three, flashing the Magis patched file. First, download and install an app called Bookjiga from the Play Store. This app basically works like a mini PC. It allows you to run ADB and fastboot commands, flash custom ROMs or root your device all without needing a computer. Next, you'll need an OTG cable or Type-C to C cable to connect the two phones. This allows the host phone to send commands to the target phone just like a PC would. Make sure the charging status shows on the main phone, not the second one. 
As soon as you connect the phones, you'll see a USB debugging permission pop up on your main device. Simply tap allow to grant access. And there we go. My phone is now successfully connected in Bookjigger. As you can see, it shows Blue G, which is the code name for this Pixel phone. Next, go to the fast boot option in the app and tap reboot bootloader. Your device will restart and enter bootloader mode. Let's wait a moment for it to load. All right, the phone is now in fast boot mode. As you can see, the device state is unlocked, but first we need to actually unlock the bootloader. Tap on this button to open the terminal. Now type the command, fast boot flashing unlock. Once you run it, you'll see the bootloader unlock screen on your phone. Use the volume buttons to highlight unlock the bootloader. Then press the power button to confirm. Keep in mind, this process doesn't work on Xiaomi or Realme devices since they use a different method for unlocking the bootloader. And yes, the device state has now changed to unlocked, which means the bootloader was successfully unlocked. Now it's time to root the device. In the terminal, first type this command, fastboot get var current slot. If this command returns a result, it means your phone supports the A slash B partition system, also called dual slot. But if it shows an error, don't worry. That simply means your device doesn't use dual slots. And you can skip this step. Since my current slot is B, I'll first flash the Magis patched file to that slot. In the terminal, type type fastboot flashboot underscore A and path of Magis patched file. If your device uses an init boot.img instead of boot.img, then use this command. Once that's done, the patched image is flashed to slot B. Now repeat the same process for slot A as well, just by replacing the underscore B with underscore A in the command. And if your device doesn't support A slash B slots, don't worry. Simply use the single command depending on your file type. And yes, the patched image has now been flashed to both slots. The final step is to reboot the device. In the terminal, type fastboot reboot. Your phone will now restart. Since we unlocked the bootloader, all data has been wiped. So we'll need to set up the device from scratch. Let me quickly go through the setup process. And yes, the device has now booted successfully. As you can see, the Magisk app is already pre-installed. When I open the app, it's asking for an update. So let me quickly connect to Wi-Fi and update Magisk to the latest version. And yes, Magisk is now updated. Let's open it again. Now Magisk is asking to reboot the device to apply the changes. So go ahead and reboot your phone. And yes, the device has rebooted. Let's check the root access. As you can see, Magisk is installed and the version showing here is 30. That means Magisk has been successfully installed on this Android phone. To confirm, let's download and install the Root Checker app. Alright, the Root Checker app is installed. Let's open it and verify root access. And there we go, as you can see, the app confirms that root access is now successfully installed on this device. So that's how you can root any Android phone without a PC or TWRP completely directly on your device. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Android guides. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.